On the 4th of January 2024, the son of the late head of state General Sani Abacha, Mustafa, got married to the love of his life, Safa. It was a well attended event, trust me. Past head of state, past first ladies, ministers, the Senate president, and some top government functionaries. We are all in attendance. The reception took place at the International Conference Center, Abuja. The bride's friends looked absolutely stunning, guys. It was really shocking to see this. Like, I enjoyed every bit of this wedding. Northerners should know how to throw an amazing party and they have got good taste. Well, the event started with the traditional aspects that held in Meduguri in December 2023. And yesterday, they had the second and final part in Abuja. Hmm. So, at the end of this video, you will tell me who you are most excited to see here we have Mahmoud Abacha and his gorgeous wife then here we have the grand entrance of the mother of the day the wife of the late general Sani Abacha beside her is the wife of the late head, former president Musa Yadua Ture Yadua there two first ladies walking in grace fully I mean at the end of this video you will tell me who you are most excited to see we don't get to see the Abachas all the time except they are having events they are a pretty much private and quiet family oops i feel like i have talked too much let me let you guys enjoy some of the songs hopefully they are not like songs that will get flagged down because if they are i will definitely mute the songs <laughs> I am such a huge fan of Hausa readings. Here we have the gorgeous bright stuff. Yes, Excellent, Abele Jonathan, the former first lady of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. You're welcome, Your Excellency. And uh, we also have wives of ministers here alongside, currently, the wives of the executive governor. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. We can take our seats. Uh, with due apologies, please, uh, cameraman, I uh, was informed earlier that uh, once you have get uh, the um, this is the type of event you don't invite comedians to anchor because the film you use reggae spoil your blues. And here we have, and here we have Fatima. Mohammed Abacha. How many of you remember Fatima? She got married in the early 2000s, shortly after Mohammed Abacha left Kirikiri. Yes, he was locked up, I think, after the death of his father. I don't think it was up to six months. Boom. He got married to this gorgeous woman. Guys, I have always been a fan of, you know, just elites generally. I love good things. So, guys, forget now. Access me, I know get. But very soon, myself go get access. I love this lady so much. She is so beautiful. Nothing much has changed about her beauty. And that's her son that is sitting beside her. So here we have one of their Abacha wives. To be very honest, Abacha boys sure know how to pick gorgeous women. Distinct personality noises. Ladies and gentlemen, we want to appreciate my excellency. Thank you so much. While she's stepping out, uh, as you can see, something just vanished. So guys, sidebar, do you know I have always loved Fulani people. I almost put University of Meduguri in my jam so that I will be able to have access to Fulani people. I've always admired their ladies. They are so beautiful, my goodness. Well, here we have the couple walking in, the beautiful bride and the handsome groom. <laughs> love how progressive elite northerners are you can imagine a northern groom and bride dressed in english attires i mean we don't get to experience this all the time so here's the thing guys i don't know who some of these ladies are <laughs> Thank you. 
photographers, please accompany me. women everywhere here we have the abachas the wives and grandchildren so guys here we have another beautiful guest i don't know her relationship with the couple if you know please tell me in the comment section i hope northerners get to see these videos because i want to hear their thoughts i will be asking some questions like who are these people and uh, okay here we have the bride and her girls so lovely i'm so in love with your wedding color it is beautiful and unique yes do you think so Ma, this guy is so cute so here we have gorgeous ladies at the event I don't know if Aisha Babangida made it to this event. She used to be pretty close to Fatima Mohammed Abacha. Yeah. Oh, um, no, be smart. In. Oh my goodness. Rules and regulations now for poor people. Look at them having the time of their lives. I find this very funny, but I love it. Pretty much not so shocking because if you mingle with the elite Muslims, you realize they are quite progressive and not as rigid as the ones who stay on the streets, who, you know, who have allowed poverty to take a center part of their lives. What actually Poppy's fans called the Plutos are the Plutomanians. And Mustafa Abacha looks like a jolly good fellow. I mean, he's one of the youngest Abachas. I don't think he knows his father so well. He was probably still a child when his father passed on the 8th of June, 1998. So let me take you through the beautiful decoration of Mustafa and Safa's wedding venue which was international conference center abuja fct nigeria so we have gumso sani abacha i think she's a first lady i don't know which state zamfara please tell me if you have an idea and here we have like a powerpoint presentation featuring the couple such a gorgeous pair i love them already <laughs> this beautiful woman is muhammad abacha's second wife and here we have one of the guests gorgeous women so please correct me if i am wrong usually when a muslim bride is getting married i think her, i don't know if it's her husband's people or her family members buy her lots of boxes concerning wrappers and gold jewelries so here we have safas you know boxes the boxes she will be going to her husband's house with or her matrimonial home rather and she isn't supposed to like wear her old clothes i think so So you just saw the couple cutting their wedding cake surrounded by ex first ladies, ex head of states, wives, and even the present first lady. <laughs> R is for what? Romance. 
to Mr. and Mrs. Mustafa Sani Al Bacha. A round of applause, ladies and gentlemen. Mohammed Al Bacha and all the other Abachas, those already present and the future that I've seen at the back. And I say, the Almighty Allah bless all of you. Uh, for the couple, I have nothing to say, a word of prayer. Uh, you say that, that yes, it is. Ladies and gentlemen, we want to appreciate my excellency. Thank you so much. While she's stepping out, uh, if you can see something just very well, the couple actually had an after party. Do you want to see that? So how many of you recognize Major Al Mustafa? He was in prison for a very long time after General Sani Abacha passed. He was his CSO, the closest person to the late General Sani Abacha. I mean, this looks like a reunion of some sort, if you ask me. <laughs> So here we have Mohammed Abacha and his second wife. I honestly didn't know he took a second wife. This is his first wife and I recall when they got married shortly after he left prison. So I am just shocked that he took a second wife. I don't know if the two are still married or if she left the marriage for the, the, marriage for the second wife. And there's one other Abacha that is missing, Abba Abacha. I think he had issues some time ago in one of these neighboring countries and he got locked up. I don't know if he has been released. I don't know what happened to his wife because I recall he got married shortly after Mohammed abacha got married in the early 2000s yes oh my god back then <laughs> those guys they were the reigning guys from the babangidas to the abachas i am pretty shocked that aisha babangida isn't at this event because she played the role of best lady to fatima that is muhammad abacha's first wife during when she got married i think that was the first time i even came across her Yes, because Aisha Babagida was initially married to one of Abacha's nephews before the marriage crumbled. And this is not about Aisha Babagida Biko. So, guys, hope you enjoyed this wedding. I honestly did. The beautiful ladies, the good environment, the lively couple, especially the groom. You can tell he's the goofy one. Yes, of course, you can tell from the way he acted throughout. He seemed to be like a really great guy. I honestly enjoyed watching this and I hope you did thank you very much for your time and share your thoughts in the comment section and please if you are a northerner i would like to know what or if you have an idea of
of the northern culture i would like to know the brain behind those multiple boxes because those boxes are a lot like what do you think are inside those boxes is it jewelry is it wrapper and what does it signify hit me up in the comment section and let me also know how people who are not so privileged do this if this is part of the culture like how many boxes are they supposed to bring because i know all fingers are not equal not every family is rich as the abachas or safas family thank you very much guys for your time tell me your favorite part of this video and i hope you enjoyed watching from society hotspots we wish the couple a happy married life hey may no second wife ever come between them all